So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound. And here is a quick update. Basically, an important video for the participants who are waiting for the study jam event to start. Here, why you should avoid the study jam program and what are the basically cons of this program, which no one is trolling. You need to watch this video before you take any decision of participating in the study jam program. So first of all, if you're new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. First of all, let me brief you about the study jam program. So basically, study jam program is similar to the arcade program, but here are some differences. Basically, in the study jam program, you have to complete some skill badges. It may be 15, 10 or basically 30 and one level 3 game. If you don't know about the level 3 game, you must have seen the level 3 game. So it will be hosted in the arcade homepage. Also, your facilitator will be sharing the details of the games do not worry about it also i'll make a video of the playlist even if you participate or not okay so basically you have to complete the level 3 game how it looks like let me show you this like okay october level 3 game the event starts from 1st of october so basically level 3 game will be there so like this you can understand these games you have to complete and some skill by this now here what is the major difference between the arcade program and the study jump program is that in arcade program, if you complete all the, basically here, if you complete all the level games and basically attain any milestone, suppose if you have achieved 25 points, then when ordering the swags, you can use any of your preferred address, like you can get it ordered, delivered to your parents address, hostel address, relative address, anywhere. But here in the study jam is the catch. Here, all the swags will be sent send in bundle form. Okay. In arcade, individual batches are dispatched. Basically, in individual package. Okay, individual. For each person, one package separately is packed with their name, address, mobile number, all the details and sent to that person. But here in the study jam, basically, it will come in boxes to all the facilitators and they will be redistributing it to all the participants. Now here, in arcade program, there is 100% surety that each participant will get the swag. But in study jam, there is no. So what happens during the registration process, no facilitator, no facilitator or event organizer will tell you that there will be no 100% SAG distribution will be done over here. It will done based on the leaderboard or etc. They try to play some tricks. So basically during enrollment, they won't share any information regarding this. Once you are enrolled and then also they will not share. But once you have completed all your basically badges. After that, they'll share that they have created alpha, beta, gamma or any kind of distribution and they'll be distributing the swag basically on that basis only. Okay, like suppose if we have a set of 100 participants. Okay, if we have set of 100 participants, 100 completed participants. Okay. And they have got basically the swags are also sent in remunerated numbers. So suppose uh, they got 40 swags for 40 people. So, okay, 40 people. Full swag. Now, what they will do for the remaining 60 people, either they will give the swag or either they will not give the swag. Okay, either they will give the swags to all the 60 people or they will not give. How they will distribute? They will take some swags. For example, suppose the swag bundle contains Dag bottle tea. So they will either take some bottles, like suppose 20 to 30 bottles, or etc., some teas. And basically, what they'll do out of this 40 people, they'll take some of the swags. Like if they want, they will take bottles all, or they will use mixture of all these three swags and distribute among the remaining 60 people. Now, what they play the cat? 60 people. Who will be the 60 people? I am taking the example of 60 people, basically 100 completion. Here, more than 1000 completion will be also there or maybe 500 also. Now, how will get cheated? I am talking about it. First of all, this event is only for learning purpose. So, your prime motive will be learning only. And basically, if your prime motive is many of the participants joined events for the swags. So for them only, at last they do not feel helpless that nobody told me about this because I've seen people crying that they have worked so hard and basically completed all the badge and after last, the facilitators are denying that they won't give the swags or complete set of swags. So this is for them only. 
so for learning purpose this event is good also you can just participate in normal arcade it's free of cost also and there is guarantee of sucks so now who will be the 60 people 100 percent to the college students okay so the swarts if the 60 percent basically 60 people here okay 60 people are from college only okay then they will be giving 100% priority to their college students. Okay. Now, if you are an outsider, if you have followed any video and just fill the form and complete it. Now, depending on basically some facilitators are good, some are very bad. So, what they do? They will ship you the goodie. Okay. Now, you can either arrange a pickup on yourself or you have to pay to the facilitator. He or she will arrange a pickup. Pickup means basically just like you order anything from Amazon and it gets delivered to your house. So like this, you have to just pay them and they will just create a shipping bill and the order will be shipped to your home. Okay. Now here also, you won't be getting complete package. Chances are there if you have a good community or any good friends who are a facilitators too in that study jump, then you'll get 100% of swags. But for random people, basically if you are new and you get Basically, if you are a completely new participant and you don't have any friends, you just followed any random video. So, just like the facilitator program, you followed any random video and just filled the form. But here, what they will do, either 99%, they won't give the swipe because they will say that this event is only for college participants. Okay, this event is only for the college participants and you, can, you won't be eligible for the swipe. So, we are not giving the swipe. Okay, here what you can do you can arrange the delivery yourself so basically just like you just courier you can just arrange any courier partner and just enter their address they'll just pack it and send to your address and you can collect it via any means okay you can visit the delivery option like post office you can use dtc you can use delivery you can use express express P's you can use anyone which is operational and working in your area and basically serviceable okay so this is the case if you have good relation and you can just contact it now here 99 percent will not get the swags that is the main reason because you have just participated in any random college okay even if any youtuber says that basically they are claiming that you will be getting 100 percent swags then this is completely wrong swags you won't be getting full set of swags if the limit exceeds because the as we can see in the arcade facilitator also there were more than one lakh participants enrolled and but there is a no limit so the swags will be distributed but here in the normal program okay in the normal study jam program it is very difficult to give swags to everyone okay now in that case what they do sometimes even i have seen that outsider participants who are not from their college complete the challenge within a week or within three to four days they also do not get the swags because they give priority to the college students only okay so in that case how you can guarantee your swags first thing you need to do is basically let me tell you what you need to do first of all you have to check whether your college has just gdca eh, sorry gdse or not basically google developer student club or not so you can contact your seniors also and you can just join using their fund and if there is no gdse okay there is no gdse so in that case what you need to do you need to just locate your nearby college if you have any friends in nearby college or in university if you study in university there are multiple college inside any university okay you can contact them and just ask them is there any event running like study jam over here can you participate and basically will you get any swags over here uh, so you can just contact it and if it is nearby basically you can visit it then it will be free of cost you can get your swags collected just by traveling there only but if you are from basically far away for example if you are from mumbai and you are just participating from rajasthan then it will become very difficult because you don't know the facilitators also and they may just try to steal your swags also so you need to take care about it now here i am telling you how you can find events near you so i'll share the event basically this url here you have to come over here and just here you have to just type your city or state okay now here for example let me type this okay you have to select this one and event topics you can just select this study jam over here here is the study jam over here i think so wait a second 
it's sorry Jim. yes cloud study jam is here click on it here you can see october 1 okay in nasik the steven uh, sorry in nasik india it is mumbai so it will be starting over here here you can see for mumbai event and here it's in gandhi nazar and here it is for basically pune and multiple events are here you can see guwahati and dubai if you are from international viewer so you can just check like this i'll share the link you can just check like this for example i'm talking about this event of nashik so you will click on view details and here you can see all these details are mentioned over here okay now here you have to simply then do the rsvp over here and then you'll be getting all the details via email okay so here here we have mentioned that all the details are mentioned over here okay you can see here the address where the event is there or the college name is also mentioned over here you can just contact them here is the discussion panel okay here is the discussion panel you can join the event discussion and just ask them here are the facilitators and basically you can just message them on linkedin and connect with them and ask whether they will get the sun but if you are an outsider i won't recommend participating in this event if you have at least the college in your nearby state district etc then only participate if you're just participating from different states for example as i said only if you are from mh sorry maharashtra or pune or if and you are participating from rajasthan quota etc anywhere etc then it will become very difficult for you to get the swags because some facilitators try to play the tricks over here so this is the main thing i wanted to share to make you aware about the wrongdoings of this event so you can just like this you can find okay like this if you want to just watch for basically guhadi you can just come over here and view dtx okay now here all these things are mentioned over here you can see so they have clearly mentioned now this is the good thing that basically some facilitators do and some don't do for example this facilitator has done that only top 100 will get the swag he has clearly mentioned so they, he is a very good okay good facilitator because in many pages they have not mentioned this thing okay now out of this also he may distribute if the number exceeded so i don't know any of this facilitator personally as this event is internal only so i don't have any connection with the facilitators too so i'll recommend if you have any nearby college you can contact them and just participate like this okay now this is about the video and that's all how we end let me summarize about it so basically if you are a participant and want to participate in the study jam make sure to cross check and make sure the facilitator or the college in which you are participating is nearby if you are participating from basically different states then i won't recommend if you the because sometimes the facilitators just send some less goodies or even they don't send at all they will say that this event is only for college only and you are participating without announcement after enrollment this drama starts so i thought of making this video before that event starts so that you get aware and just save your time okay you can participate in other challenges also i have made multiple videos you can see that the study jam event is here okay a study jam event is here sorry the salesforce event is here and another important thing is that the arcade event event and the first event and basically if you want to see the swags of the facilitator program you can watch this video here multiple events are available on the channel you can check it out explore everything do like the video and subscribe the channel guys have a great day